Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Wayne and today I'm going to be playing some more Raft. This will be a video or episode number five. You may notice I have a new game save in here. I did jump into creative last night and uh, I came up with a plan for my Raft. A nice schematic. I engineered the hell out of it. I had three rules for the Raft. Rule number one, it had to be 99 or fewer foundations because I learned while in creative that a single engine cannot power more than 100 foundations. Now you can have more than one engine and that leads into rule number two. Make sure that my raft is easily retrofit to include a second engine if I choose. Why? Because if I understand it correctly, if you add a second engine or even a third or even a fourth, you get a greater uh, greater speed. It's the same with the sails. However, there is a diminishing returns effect. So you can't get yourself infinite speed and each time you add another engine or another sail, the amount of, uh, of uh, speed or power that you get out of it does diminish. Where was I? I'm at C. Oh yeah, I remember now. We were learning new recipes. My collection nets are doing an excellent job. I did have to protect them as I learned. Oh, I learned something else in creative as well. Uh, I found out that you can... I can't do it now because I don't have the components, but you can uh, place armor around your foundations I think it even works on the collection nets as well. And by doing that, the shark can't destroy them. In fact, the shark won't even attack them. That's pretty fancy, so um, I definitely want to do that. I don't think I want to do the entire raft armored because it does cost. You can see here it costs one metal ingot and two nails. And I only have, I think I only have uh, maybe 10, 7. I have 7 iron ore. Do I have any in here? No. So that would take me a while to armor the entire raft. Let me hit pause and go back to uh, my rules for in creative mode. So the rules that I set, not for creative mode really, but the rules that I set for my raft were the following. One, the foundations need to be 99 or, or fewer. You can go larger than that. You just have to have more engines. Rule number two, the raft needed to be needed to be practical. You know, there needs to be room on it to do things and to plant stuff, etc. Now, because I've never actually played through raft before, I could have made a terrible mistake with my design. But I did look through all of the items that you can place and I did test them out a bit, so hopefully I was thorough enough and the raft will be good. Rule number three, it has to look good. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube and a lot of people were just sort of building out their rafts a bit willy-nilly, which is fine. But I want, to, I want something more than just a giant floating rectangle in the middle of the ocean. I wanted something that kind of looks cool. And I did, in fact, come up with a design that looks more like a boat than a raft. So I'm not going to talk too much about the design. If you want to see it, then you're just going to have to wait until it's built, I guess, and then check it out. Um, I don't know if it's really great or not compared to what other people have built, but I'm happy with it. Um, I will say this. It will be raised up off of the water and it's going to make use of what I've already done. So I don't have to edit any of this. Is he coming? Oh, I thought he was coming to attack. So actually this is going to go and this one over here is going to go as well. But other than that, those are the only minor edits. I guess I should get some ingots cooking and uh, my food bar is getting a bit low and I need to collect a bunch of stuff. So 
I'm probably not going to talk that much in this video. Actually, I might. But most of my gameplay will be off camera. As I just collect stuff and expand my raft. Because the first thing I'm going to do is uh, build out the footprint. And then I'll build up from there. So, I'll see you in a bit. I made a little bit of progress, not a ton, but I have this forward section up here. And as you can see, I've added three additional nets because I'm really trying to boost up my ability to grab stuff from the ocean without the need to use the hook, which is very time consuming. And look at this perfect angle I'm hitting all this stuff at. Well, almost a perfect angle. I do intend to place one more net here. In the meantime, I have been smelting iron ingots, and I have been cooking and fishing. Oh, by the way, I made a new rod, but I made the metal fishing rod, so apparently it's a bit better. But what I want to do is I want to I want to craft the uh, better grill, and as you can see, I can cook several pieces of food at once, use as planks as fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me eat this. That'll free up a slot and craft. And, um, oh, it's quite a bit larger, isn't it? Should I just place it over here? I'll place it over here. Right about there should do it. Now, I don't think, um, I don't need this anymore, right? Can I, can I do something with this? Can I recycle this some way or is it just, or is it just done? Let me hold on to it just in case. And oh, actually, I have a fish in here that was too large for that grill. Let me see if it'll fit on here. Oh, that is a big fish. Add some planks. That would feed you for multiple days. But in our case, I bet it just barely gets my food bar up. Ooh, look, some barrels up there. Lots of goodies coming in. I've cleared this out a bit already. I'd really like to reinforce some of these uh, outer foundations. But I think I need to prioritize the ore first. Actually, you know what I would really like to craft? Is the stationary anchor. Uh, and then I need... Well, I have the ingots for it. Oh, I need to craft a hinge. Oh, actually, let me get another. I've been smelting all of the iron ore. I want to see how much food I get from this fish. That's what I love to see. As you can see, I haven't used my hook once. And look at all the stuff I have. And I've cleared this out already a couple of times as well. I think I'm going to miss that one, though. So I'll go ahead and grab it. Seems like it's taking longer to cook this fish than on the smaller grill. There we go. Uh, pop that up there. All right, let's watch the food bar. That's it. Oh! Oh, but I get more than one bite. What is that? One third? Oh, okay. I get three I get three bites out of the larger fish. I do like that. I'll go ahead and cap it off. I think that's the first time that my food bar has been full. Alright, that's it for now. I'm going to grind some more on collecting and expanding the raft a bit. I might craft something new. I, I don't know. It's hard to decide because I only have so much ore. I guess I need to hit another island.
So I found something. I swam all the way around this island looking for reefs so I could collect metal ore. And the only reef was this one right here directly between the raft and myself. Notice I'm not getting attacked by the shark. I think that my raft is far enough away from the island now that it's been leaving me alone. So that's convenient. And I only got hit once between there and here. By the way, I think that's dirt. And I know you can craft a shovel. A shovel right here. So I suppose you need dirt for those pots. That's my guess. Anyway, this is what I found. I was down here searching. I came in, I, whoops, going the wrong way. Let me get some more air. I swam down here into this little cave and found some more over here. And I thought it just ended here, but I decided to take a look anyway. And then I spotted this. All right, that's surface water for sure, so I can get some air, but it's not outside. It's like a little cave in here, and one of those containers is in here. That's pretty cool. I actually haven't seen this yet. Oh, what is that? There's more stuff down here. What is this? Just a little, a little air pocket? I guess I can't do anything with this. All right, what do we get here? Bunch of nails and rope and just usual, nothing. Oh, I did get a hinge, all right. I can use that, not bad. So I did manage to find five metal ore here and I've been working on reinforcing the uh, forward most foundations because I wanna craft that, uh, that anchor. The one that you don't have to keep crafting because, quite frankly, I'm tired of crafting the anchor. So I'm not sure if I have enough yet. I think I need three just for the anchor. Let me see here. Yeah, I need three just for the anchor. So that's go going to only leave me one left to reinforce, but I think I need to reinforce a few still. One nice thing about reinforcing some of these planks up here, though, is I was able to place the temporary or the one-use-only anchor without worrying about the shark destroying it. Okay, so I know from creative that you need a three by three area with a hole in the center for the uh, permanent anchor. So I'm hoping that there are at least two pieces of metal ore over here. Oh, that's close enough. If so, due to the fact that I already have, actually, is it cooking? I think it's cooking still. Yeah, right there. Since I have one ingot already, and if I recall, I only need three. Oh, I need a hinge too. Oh, but I have a hinge. I think I looted it from that cave. Anyway, I'll be able to, to craft this, the stationary anchor. Let you anchor your raft. And then finally, I won't have to make these temporary ones anymore. So I think this is a good distance. Let me move this stuff up here. Oh, I need to get seaweed too. I forgot about that. Let me grab this. So it's nice to be able to cook three small fish or one large fish, which is about the same anyway, since you get three bites out of it. It is a bit strange that I can place a large fish on here and get three bites, but an entire shark will only get me four pieces of meat. It is a bit strange. Where is that shark? I'd like to see it pop up over here. 
before I jump in the water. I guess I can raise the cell. I mean, it won't really matter that much because that shark's going, even if it sees me as soon as I jump in the water, he's only going to hit me a few times by the time I hit that island, probably only twice. That's for when I get back. All right, let's just go. Oh, there's there's three metal ore right there. But that's a bit closer to the uh, raft than what I was thinking. But that's okay. Where is that shark? That's strange. Did I kill it again and I didn't realize it? Well, let's jump down and grab that metal ore while I can because since it's actually pretty close. Here it is. Oh, this is going to do it. Oh, this is great. Finally, no more anchor blues. Oh, here it comes. That's okay. I got the ore. Do I need anything else? Yes, seaweed. I have quite a bit of sand, but I haven't melted it into glass yet because I also want to craft this thing right here. But I do need four glass. I can handle that. I just need to uh, take the time to craft it. I'm not sure exactly how it works yet, but we'll find out. Um, let's see. We're good here. Let me just let me just collect. Where was that watermelon I just saw? Let me grab that. Let me grab some of these, uh, some of the wood from these trees. And let me take a peek and see if there's any seaweed. I, I don't remember what I needed the goo for, but it was something that I wanted for sure. Food situation is looking pretty good. I did craft one of the uh, larger chests, and it does have a lot more room in it than those small ones. I'm still using the two small ones though. Actually, I'm ready to start collecting flowers. Uh, except that my inventory is full, so I guess that will have to be the next time. I'll grab that though. And this tree. And I don't need to worry about stone. I have enough stone on the ship or on the uh, raft to craft a couple of more hat axes for sure. All right, here we go. All right, so by the way, there is the larger Nope. There's the larger storage unit. As you can see, it holds a lot more. But I'm still utilizing this for seeds. And uh, set all this. Oh, shoot. I forgot to get seaweed. Oh, well. I'll get it on the next island. All right. So I'll smelt up this, uh, this metal. And hopefully, by the time it's daylight, we'll be able to craft that anchor. We're about to hit this island. I've smelted all the ingot. I'm ready to craft the anchor. I think we're going to... Oh, is that copper right there? I think I just saw copper on this wall. That That, that is copper. I didn't know that it could form up this high. All right, well, this was an accidental island, but uh, that's cool. I'll take it anyway. Um, I'm pretty keen to get, I think I'm liking the watermelon more and more because it fills up both your hunger and your water and mostly your water, but it definitely helps. What's up here? Anything? I guess I can start collecting flowers now. I'm not sure what colors I want to paint the raft. 
But at some point in time I'll want to, and I have no idea if you need a ton of flour or if one will do. Am I able to get this while on the raft? Whoa. There's more down there. Getting spun around a lot. There's some more sand. Oh, wait. Does that have something to do with it? Oh, it does. Look at that. I wonder if that's a way to spin the raft. Although there is a component. I don't think I can craft it yet. But it's researchable. And uh, rudder control. Let's see if I can find this on here. I'm not sure what I need. That might be the next item I aim for. Oh wait, learned. Could have swore there's a rudder in here somewhere. I can't craft it yet, right? I should craft a streamer. Useful for knowing which way is forward. Although I don't like that wording. I think it should say useful for knowing which way the wind is blowing. Hmm. Where is that rudder control? Maybe I need to find a blueprint for it. Maybe it's a special item. I'm not sure. But let's stop messing around. Let's build this anchor. Uh, let me see. Down here. Let you anchor your craft. Stationary anchor. I just need a few rope. And I have a spot available here for it. And there we go. You can see it's quite large. It has a large footprint. It requires a 3x3 three three area. I think I'll put it... Do I want it that way or this way? No, I think I want it this way. And you need a hole there as well. Now, I'm going to place another collection net here. That's pretty fancy. Let me... Uh, I think I still have a paddle. Actually, I don't want to use the paddle yet. Let me go grab some stuff real quick. Oh, I think my crap. Oh, my raft just got loose. What's going on here? All right. Can I make it? Uh, not quite. Well, I did get a few flowers. I don't know what I'm thinking. I could just drop the rank the anchor, right? All right, let's try it out. Works as expected. Let me put these uh Oh, Stop being a nuisance. Uh, nope, I want to repair. He also attacked this one over here, but I'm not going to repair it because I need to destroy it anyway. All right, where were we? This one. So I think the way I'll do this is we'll go flowers and the associated seed. And, uh, seed and flower. I guess I don't have any red seeds. Not yet, anyway. Oh, I have the black flower. There's also white flowers up there. What a shame! I can't fit them all nice and neat in one, in one chest, but that's all right. Where were those white flowers? I wasn't going to record this part because I thought it would just be boring. Oh, there's one. I want to test something out with this anchor. Something that I'm not too sure about. I should probably check for any ore here as well. Because I need a lot of ore. Because I intend... I'm, I don't think that I need to reinforce every single foundation piece. But I definitely need to reinforce all of the, ex, or all of the outer edge foundation pieces. Alright, let me craft an axe, collect some stuff, and then I'll be back.